traveling, exploring, and learning on the road. Fun is family road trip. Driving along, there are gorgeous views out here through Utah. We're probably half an hour to 45 minutes from where we were gonna stop. And that tire is not looking good. It came flying off and hit the van. It's super windy out here. At least we have our house with us if we need to go in and have some lunch or something. It's 2.30 now. We haven't had lunch yet. We were hoping to make it there around three and then we were gonna have some lunch. But now plans will change, so it'll be nice to have our house. Um, Doug's in the van calling our roadside assistants to see if they can come out and help us. So we're just finishing up our lunch. Doug is out there at the truck. What are you doing? Are you looking at our stickers? Mm -hmm. Emmett loves when the slide is in because then he can look at the sticker wall. So, of all the places to break down, this isn't so bad. In the right. middle of a desert? In the middle of a desert. But we have our house and these gorgeous views. What do you want to say? Your mouth is so full of carrots. And there's some cactus. What's out there? Some cactus. There are cactus out there, huh? We have to watch our step. Yeah. So we can step on cactus. Yeah, we don't want to step on it. But we see bears. Do you see bears out there in the desert? Yeah. No. There's, there's some snakes. There could be rattlesnakes, yes. So that's why we are keeping the kids inside, huh? Yeah. We so I just came out to check on him. He's still on the phone trying to find a tire. And I hear the kids in there making some music. Like he knows what he's doing, he has no idea how to really play the ukulele. <laughs> Now you see what the boys are up to when the parents are outside and they have no supervision. So the one thing that I forgot to mention was we don't have a spare tire for the truck. We just put brand new tires on the fifth wheel and the van and the truck tire seemed good but I didn't realize we didn't have a spare. He said that he told me um, if it was up to me I had gotten a spare but I didn't realize that so now we're looking for the right size tire. All right, so we're waiting to hear from Roadside, as you just heard. Getting a bite to eat. I call a tire, a couple tire places, and 
place about 40 miles back has a tire so if worst case scenario we'll just go get a tire there I don't know we'll see what they come up with we are testing out good Sam's premium platinum roadside is it a is it a highway tire or is it a traction tire because I have highway tires on it right now so it's 388 for the tire. How much? 388.89. For one tire? Yes. Okay, because I called a couple tire shops while I was off the phone and I found them for 138. And what was the other charge you were about to tell me besides the tire? It's 148.50 to mount the tire, $15 to dispose of it, $43.50 for the warranty, and $10.50 for the valve stem. And none of that's covered by this policy? The membership pays for the service call and knowledge. Members are responsible for parts and roadside labor. Okay. Because I, I, I definitely am not going to pay $200 over for the tire when I called the place that was right next door to Commercial Tire in that same town. So you guys mark that up $100 from what they sell it for? So what it is, sir, what the shop is going to sell it to you is going to be different from what we have to sell it because when we set up our contracts with these shops, they give us a set pricing for all tires. We're not able to change the price of the tires or anything. This is what the set rate is when we get the contract from them. on the road gonna finish off the last 30 miles of our trek here today it's now six o'clock we were hoping to get in around three o'clock so three hour delay but everybody's safe we're good and we're back on the road so it's all good we finally made it to our boondocking spot it is gorgeous here yeah it is gorgeous just missed the sunset though we did well, it's still setting, but it's behind these amazing bluffs. We'll show you some more here in a second. So, with the flat tire, we called Good Sam Roadside. Which were Platinum members. And if we had a spare, they would have come right out and fixed it with no charge. But we didn't, so we were going to buy a tire. So we figured it would be the cost of the tire, and then they would put it on. That is not the case. Uh, they were going to jack up the price of the tire an extra hundred dollars plus charge us for the service to put it on plus charge for a disposal, disposal. and valve stem and so six hundred and one dollars is what it would cost if we used the roadside assistance so we called around Mama, to some would you do us the I will so we called around to the three local tire shops one did not have a tire in stock one had a tire in stock but did not do service calls. The other one had the tire and did service calls, and it's the same one that Good Sam had called and was going to mm -hmm. send out. So we called, we finally called at 401 um, to the place after we told Good Sam's never mind. We're not going to. They wouldn't even let us buy the tire directly because it was $100 cheaper. They wouldn't let us buy it directly from Commercial Tire and just have them pay for the service call. They said that they would not do that. They wouldn't let us buy the tire and do that. Yeah, we had to buy the tire through them for an extra hundred dollars, plus all the extra fees. And just so you know, the tire was two eighty eight, what we paid directly from the retailer, and the Good Sam's is gonna charge us three eighty eight. From the same retailer, same, same tire. company. Same tire. So we told Good Sam's never mind. We call the tire shop Commercial Tire. Commercial Tire. In what Rich town? Richland Rich. I think Rich it was something. Rich something. <laughs> we'll let you know. We'll put it down below. Um, so we called them at 401. We were off the phone by 404. They said, "Yep, we're on our way." They came out. They said it would be over an hour to get to us, and so it took them um, almost an hour and a half, about an hour and 20 minutes. So at 5.28 he started working, by 5.48 he was done. So it took him 20 minutes to put the tire on the rim, get the old one off, get the new one on and done. 
and it ended up costing us five forty two instead of the six oh one that it would cost had we used the good Sam roadside assistance. So that's kind of silly that it would cost us less not using it. And had we had a spare, I wouldn't have called roadside assistant. I would have changed this tire myself. But if we had a spare, roadside assistance would have just come out and done it for free anyways. We would have just had to wait. So, yeah, make what sure you know what, what color is the lizard. What color is the lizard? What color was the lizard? Brown. Yeah. Green. Are Yellow. you the lizard? You're blue! And at our boondocking spot, there are lizards. So, if you have roadside... You're blue. You're a blue lizard. Uh, what color is this? Um, kind of teal or aqua. Aqua and blue lizard. So if you have roadside assistance... But that's not aqua. What is it? Right. Okay, let's let Daddy tell us. Alright, if you have roadside assistance, make sure you know what it covers because it didn't do anything for us today. It would have cost us more money than not having it. So. And we also have roadside assistance through Verizon, but, but we didn't even bother calling them after we were dealing with it. We were just ready to get a new tire, and so it was better to just pay the money than to have to deal with. And we do plan to submit our receipt to Good Sam's for reimbursement on the emergency roadside I, park, because I, that's the park they said they would cover. We'll let you know how that goes. They said it has to be submitted, and then they'll decide if they're going to cover it or not. So we'll keep you updated. All right, well, we're going to eat dinner and call her a day. Bye-bye.